redhead. And I have a very fair-skinned family. For five years of my childhood, I lived in Hawaii and the Philippines. We would go to the beach every single weekend. I remember more weekends when I was burnt than I wasn't. So I went for a standard skin check because I'm a redhead, and they did two biopsies, one on a freckle on my back and one on a mole that I had on my cheek here. And so uh, they called and they said that it was melanoma, and my reaction was fairly nonchalant. My father had basal cell cancer removed several times, and so this is just, you know, par for the course. I just was expecting it, maybe not this soon. And so she questioned that I understood, really, what she was telling me. There's three types of skin cancers, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma. They're the highest incidence. Melanoma is the third type of skin cancer. However, it's the deadliest, unfortunately, because it has the ability to spread into the blood and the lymphatic vessels, and then it can actually spread further into the lymph nodes and into other organs. My dermatologist was telling me everything that they had to do. We're going to refer you to the surgeon. And I went down and saw Dr. Sweater in the melanoma clinic at Stanford. She kind of did another skin check, and then she said, OK, my recommendation is to go to Dr. Ossie. We did sort of a conservative excisional biopsy to determine exactly the depth of the melanoma once we were able to study the rest of the lesion, and also then decide whether further therapy was necessary for her. And she did extremely well. We did a, what was called a narrow margin excision and essentially determined that it was melanoma in situ. One of the concerns for us as dermatologists is the increasing incidence of skin cancer, particularly melanoma, in young adults and adolescents, so people under the age of 30. And Kelly fits in that category perfectly. She was a perfect patient where she pursued it, had it checked out by a physician, and luckily was found to be melanoma in its earliest phase possible. Probably the biggest thing you want to think about is sun protection, whether it's a cloudy day or sunny day. Sunscreen, uh, particularly those that are considered broad spectrum sunscreen, something with an SPF of 25 or higher used on a daily basis. And then there are other things that people can do to protect themselves from the sun, such as wearing a broad brimmed hat, sunglasses, wearing lightweight clothing but that has better coverage. The fact that I was diagnosed with melanoma and then was really lucky in that it was sort of taken care of within a month, essentially. Really reminded me how precious and valuable life is. So I'll be wearing 45 or 50 instead of 15 or 25. And now that I have had a melanoma diagnosis, I'm gonna go in every three months for the rest of my life.